What a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck, where we play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today we're looking at Hand Trap Tricks, as brought to you by Patreon sponsor Robert Roosing. And no, this is not uh, Trap Tricks with Fire Hand and Ice Hand. This is Hand Traps with, with Trap Tricks. Uh, Mr. Roosing wanted pure Trap Tricks if possible. I couldn't quite make that work, but he said don't combine it with any other archetype. Just sort of Trap Tricks and then some support cards. So I've combined them with these generic Hand Traps like Ash Blossom and Ghost Ogre. And uh, even Engraver of the Mark, which is, which is kind of an underrated card. And hopefully we're going to prevent our opponent from doing anything at all, which, which should be interesting. Now, if you just want a deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate, shorter video. I'll go over everything in here and explain how it works. Otherwise, I'm playing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro 2. I'll be testing this out, showing you all the combos, and hopefully, we'll have a little fun. <laughs> Alrighty then, here we are in the first duel versus... Bad Testing, I think was the name? Something like that. And you always want to go first win this deck. Always. As, as much as possible. Because you are all about setting them traps. So we are going to set all the traps. We'll set one right here. We'll set one over here. We'll get a third one, and we'll set it right here. And then we're going to normal summon our only monster that has intact, Graver of the Mark. Now, he's actually a hand trap, although he's a very oddly specific hand trap that rarely comes up. Uh, mostly he's here because he's got 1800 attack, and he's got a pretty neat uh, effect while he's on the field. It's quick effect. During either player's turn, you could target a monster, and let me get the exact thing on this. Um, target a face-up card on the field, destroy it during the the end phase of the next turn. So it's kind of like, in a lot of ways, a... Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that now. In a lot of ways, it's kind of like a Dryden, but slower. Sort of like a Molasses Dryden. You can blow up face-up cards, it just takes a turn and a half. Or it takes two turns. So not during this end phase, but when I end my turn, this will be destroyed. It's kind of a weird effect, but it's oddly effective, especially against slower decks, decks with a lot of face-up spell traps. Or if nothing else, like, you know, they summon a big boss monster, it's going to kill this. Oh, hey. Vullets. Verets. Um... Let's see... This card is sent to the graveyard because it was destroyed in battle. You can special summon one Verit from your deck, except a copy of itself. Um, no. I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with no. Oh, hey, Raigeki. That's one of those things we like to get. And yeah, this deck is not high on attack. Not high on anything, really. That's the whole, the whole point is that it's pretty much just like... You have these weak monsters, and you prevent your opponent from getting any monsters. And if they can't get any monsters, then it doesn't it doesn't work right. Yep, so then that goes to the graveyard. Yo, what's up? It took a turn, but it happened. And yeah, usually this is not really a great card, but it's specifically good in this one, just because of how slow-paced it makes everything. No, because I don't... He can only destroy face-up cards, so he, he'd only destroy himself. I wish he could do face-down. I feel like it's fair enough with how slow it is. Ah, Evil Thorns. Interesting. A lot of people using this just to get, uh... Just to get Link material. Ouch. You can tribute it, and if you do, special summon two Evil Thorns from your deck in attack position. Their effects cannot be activated. So he gets those, and then he's got two monsters that he can go ahead and trade them out for some kind of link. Which, uh, I'm just gonna send back with Time Space Trap Hole. Either that, maybe he won't get anything. Maybe he's just sort of chilling out. Alright, that's perfectly fine. I don't care much about Link Karibo. I assume he's just using that as some kind of stepping stone. Get his Lone Fire back out, alright. Tribute the Lone Fire to get some other kind of thing. And this deck, kind of linear, not really the most choices. The biggest choice you have is whether or not to activate, when to activate Time Space Trap Hole. Or when to activate any of your Trap Holes, for that matter. It's one of those things like, I could stop this right off the bat, but I don't know. 
Okay, I still have more attack than all your things. Yep, go ahead. Doing all the combos! Yeah, I know they have a Link 4, the Verit Bullet Dragon, or the Bullet... Yeah, I think they're called Rockets now, in the TCG. So he's got the, the Rocket Dragon Lord. Got a good old Spiaida. So I'm just going to wait for him to summon that thing. Hopefully it can be sent back to the deck. Very few cards that, that, that I know of. So he's got one, two, three, four. He can make a he can make a link five. There is there is one that exists, but it's a prize card that can't be used in a duel, so um I don't think it's in this game, but I've been surprised before. Oh hey, there's the Verret Dragon Lord. Haha, <laughs> no. All your hard work got removed by a trap. He can't be targeted with card effects. He could target me and make me to go down uh, several hundred attack, but that's not enough. I could still beat over Link Karibo. Link Karibo, bo bo bo. Yep, and that's why trap tricks are mean, especially in Link format, especially for these people trying to do all these combalicious decks. They spend all this time and all these resources building these these really cool big decks, and then, and then nothing, and then just nothing at all. That in attack mode. Well, I guess I'm going to chain. I'll just kill that. I mean, next turn I'll kill that. Hopefully, I draw some kind of monster so I can attack over this Link Karibo. Fortunately, I'm still winning by all of a hundred life points. Fortunately, if this thing gets sent to the graveyard at all, it gets to special summon things, and I don't want him to be special summoning things. Um, yeah, I mean... I mean, that's going to die at the end of my turn anyway. Yeah, we're good for now. I'll wait for him to build something, and then I'll Dark Hole right get it. Lingering effects, they're kind of neat. Doing all the stuff with my big fat feet. I don't actually have that big of feet. Um, oh, hey. It's that syringe on head dragon that I saw before. I guess it's more of a rocket. Um, targets this card. You can destroy this card. Make one face up. Unable to attack. All tools effects. Nigga. During the end phase, this is in the graveyard because it was destroyed. Yada, yada, yada. Just use it as link material so I can stop it. Trading out his lone fires. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna let him do some things. We'll be back. I'm gonna start skipping ahead already. We'll be back when he links oh wait, no. He just links someone right there. No. Back in the extra deck you go. You're not allowed to have fun, not while I'm here. <laughs> Show me him. Hey, engraver of the mark. Yo, what's up? Remember me? I've got 1,800 attack. He's gonna spend 2,000 to stop from taking 1,800. I mean, that's fine with me. I still got one more, one more trap hole. So many summons a monster with 2,000 or more attack. That's not 2,000 or more. That's 18. Um, ouch! My most of me. All right, and hammer shot. Go away. No one likes you. Granted, he gets another one. All, all the, all the, uh, all the link monsters these days. All the first wave link monsters. They seem to float for days. If they're sent to the graveyard by any means, they just do things, man, and stuff. I wouldn't recommend it. Yeah, if he could summon something with seventeen hundred, I'm pretty much doomed. Nope, I got, I'll have a hundred left. Unless he Link summons, and then I'll have a lot more left. No, he's learned his lesson. Yeah, sadly I have all this destruction. Might have been something I was considering in the side deck, maybe swapping out for a, uh... Like a, uh, whatchamacallit? Like some, some mirror forces? Maybe some mirror forces that would be really powerful? 
Go ahead, link summon main phase two. Get rid of these. I don't want them. Get them out of here. Go away with you. I know you want to. It's a fancy new mechanic. Uh, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I just got all my card destruction against the deck that is not real. Is like pretty much immune to card destruction. And then during the end phase, he's just gonna do things. Yep. Sadly, I just. I just got, yeah, I, I used to play two Dark Holes, one Raigeki, I swapped them out for, for Hammer Shots. Hammer Shots a good thing, like I said, this, this deck is low on, um, it's low on monsters, and the monsters are low on attack, so the idea is, like, blow them up and then prevent them from summoning things with the Trap Holes, but unfortunately he could just sort of, like, outdo me with these, these high attack level 4 monsters, and he's not triggering my Void Trap Holes or my other, uh, well, just, he's not triggering my Void Trap Hole, sadly. He's summoning from the deck. So yeah, unless he decides to go big with like a huge Link Summon at the end here, I'm pretty much going to have to call this a loss, unfortunately. Which we might see a lot. Th th this deck has been doing pretty good in testing, but really it depends what you go against. There there's some decks that this that are just pretty much immune to this, and there's uh, other decks that, that just, like, if, if you get unlucky, if you get all the traps when you need your hand traps, he lost connection. I, I'm still counting that as a loss for me. I had 100 life points. I had almost no way to stop him. So, yeah, well, I'll see you in the next duel. <laughs> well, if it isn't my arch nemesis player, and it looks like he's got some sort of, um... Oh, what was that? That was a Gishki, I believe. I didn't see who I, but you can see it. I'm, I'm Audrey Jr. Comment in the comments if you get the uh, the reference there. We're going second, which is not good, but I have my Ash Blossom, so I can I can stop one key play if he tries to make it. All right, that might be difficult for me. Um. Let's see here. Normal salmon. And will he chain? Will he summon his dank law? The dankest of dank laws. Does he have his thing or oh okay. No. Alright. Let's just get that bottomless tarp hole then, shall we? Um I'm gonna go ahead and attack into that. See what's up. Ah, Honesty Neos. I forget that that's a thing. Ouch, my life points. That's fine, though. Well, it's not perfectly fine. If he can establish a Dark Law... Ah, oh, damn it. He did have it. I guess he can't use it against non-elemental heroes. That's no, one hero monster. Um, let's go ahead and get another monster and hope he doesn't get rid of that. No, my bottomless. At least I still have the other ones. Yep, sadly, at this point I pretty much just need... I'm, I, I pretty much need my Engraver of the Mark. That's going to be the only thing that can get rid of this, sadly. Or, no, if I get my, my, uh, my Hammer Shots, my Dark Holes, my Raigeki, that's what those are for. You just get rid of it, and then you can establish a field again. He's not allowed to summon anything else. But knowing my luck, I'm going to end up in the situation where last duel I got all my Hammer Shots and stuff. In this duel, I get no such thing. Um. No. You're not allowed to do things. Trap hold. Treacherous trap hold. <laughs> yep, so again, we just gotta hope, we gotta get, we pretty much gotta get that, uh, the thing. If I don't get the thing, oh, I might have just died right here because he started with both his honesty neos. 
Don't even need to attack a monster. You just give it... Okay. Brutal. Just, just, uh, just terribly brutal. Does he have another one? If he has his third one, there, there's pretty much nothing. Okay, good. Now show me Dark Hole, Raigeki, Hammershot, Engraver, well, even Engraver of the Mark's not going to save me at this point because I have 200 life points left. Nope. Well, there we go. Unfortunately, just a, a sad state of affairs. We'll just set that because there's nothing else we can do. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing about trap tricks. And I, I've, I've been requested trap tricks before, and I'm always kind of like, eh, I mean, they're really a you gotta go first and you gotta stop them. Otherwise, they're there, but some people just like, I, I don't know, some people just like them for whatever reason. Anyway, I'll see you in the third duel. <laughs> Okie dokie, here we are, third duel versus Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck Profiles SX. An interesting name, reminds me of some kind of Yugi tuber I can't say which one. It just seems like something that would be a Yugi tuber Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna go with this. We've got the Trap Tricks, but this is the one that's, that special summons a Trap Tricks out of the graveyard. And you really don't want to waste that just to have a monster on board. But fortunately, we've got two Trap Holes, we're going first, we've got a monster, and we've got Dark Hole, so even if he does stuff, we, we can clear things. Oh yeah, it's the first turn. So hopefully we can get a win here. It's always disheartening when you have two two losses right off the bat. And then I start to worry, what if this is the worst the worst what a deck in what a deck history? What if it gets no wins or only one win? Uh okay. So he is going to be drawn. I'm not going to be liking that. Knowing my luck, he's probably playing some kind of, you know, um Whatchamacallit's... Alistair the Invoke... Invoked! <laughs> I was trying to think, all I could think about was Alistair. I'm like, what archetype is he from, though? Oh yeah, the Invoked archetype. He's drawing a whole bunch. Maybe Exodia? No, Dark Magicians. Which, I have a decent-ish matchup. I mean, that's the... If he activates the, uh, the Whatchamacallit, I can always... Uh, no... No searches for you, and also die. Well, ain't that just fine and dandy like lemon candy. Unaffected spell books. You rogue. And then it'll destroy this. My, my hope was that, like, if this could survive until the next turn, then I could, um, destroy his, uh... Whatchamacallit. With no cards left on the field, he summons Dark Magician. Alright. Well, I'm gonna chain this onto this, so it'll be destroyed at the end of the next turn. It's unaffected by traps still, so this will do me no good. Ouch, my most of me. But he is affected by traps, and so eat the trap hole of spikes! It's like Magic Cylinder, except it uh, destroys them, and it only inflicts half the damage. And they have to be ha they have to have been normal summoned or s or special summoned that turn. Okay, he doesn't have any other stuff. Oh hey, bottomless. All right. Still don't want to summon this. I'm not gonna be able to attack anyway. End phase. That goes to the graveyard. The engraver of the mark has left his mark. Now I just gotta stop him from summoning more things out. I'm not wanting him to summon things. But yeah, that was my hope. If I can get engraver of the mark and then he gets like a eternal soul, I can activate it on that. And then when it goes, everything gets destroyed. Which I assume he's playing eternal soul. He probably just doesn't have it yet. Hey! All right, well, I've got a chance to attack, so I'm going to go ahead and waste this. Not waste it, but I'm going to go ahead and put it out here for attack purposes. Yo, what's up, 1700? That's a lot. 
The one thing I wish I could change on this is the font of the, the numbers that come up, because it's way too ornate. I want something more like this that's just really simple. Dark magical circle. Um, it negates the effect, but it doesn't destroy it. So... Um... Yeah. I'm gonna hope if I could survive this time, I can normal summon this and then make black rose and just wipe the board. I've just gotta hope that this can survive until my next turn. Oh, I didn't get anything. Alright. And I've got another Dianea. That's pretty good. Um... Yeah, I'll lose my bottom list, but it's probably worth it in the long run. Hmm. Hmm, do I want to give him a card to blow things up, though? Again, I don't even know if this is a turn. If it is Eternal Soul, then this is useless, because his spellcasters will be unaffected by card effects. If it's not Eternal Soul then I'm losing my only trap. Um... Hmm... You know what, let's at least do 1700 first. I've got a recovery play. Um... Now, if that was Eternal Soul, he would have activated it by now, because he has a Dark Magician in the graveyard. So, I'm just going to hope. I'm going to hope and pray, and maybe things will be okay. Um, add one spell trap. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Get that out of his, out of his way. Magician's Navigation, okay, so he could summon one from his hand, and then one from the deck. So he could probably do that in my draw phase, and then I won't be able to get things, because he'll banish my things. But hopefully he banishes this. No, not doing it, okay. Well then, in this case, there's no reason not to do this. Hello, I'm here to nuke the field and nothing else. I hope you enjoy being field wiped. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna summon your guy just so he can get destroyed. Just wanting it in the graveyard, or I guess he wants to banish. Oh, okay. Now yeah, what was it that he had? He had a Solemn Strike, and he didn't use it on that. Bad choice. Bad choice. Um, because when this is summoned, I can summon another... Oh yeah, and that lets me set one of these from my deck. Let's go ahead and pick this one. Or not my deck, from my graveyard. And he's got 2350, right? We'll just, just in case. Plus, as I've been telling people on the Discord, the the unofficial boss monster of the of uh, Trap Tricks is Utopia the Lightning. I make this more than anything. And just to make sure he can't activate things when I attack. With all the things... Error, this socket has been... Rendered by another party? What? Interesting. Well, anyway, we got our first win. We got at least one going against Dark Magicians. Granted, he didn't get his uh, Eternal Soul, but that's fine. We got a win. Let's go ahead on into the fourth duel. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are. Fourth duel versus what has become my, my new nemesis. Or one of them, your name. 
Now there's your name, AM, and player that are all default names for me to work on. And while I'm here in the fourth duel and going second, unfortunately, go ahead and point out these, these sweet trap trick sleeves with all the, the trap tricks ladies on them. And trap hole nightmare just barely there in the back. Ooh, pendulum magicians. This is going to be a hard fought thing. But yeah, if you want these sleeves, if you want the, the trap hole of spikes negation, if you want this deck profile that you can use for yourself in YGO Pro 2, um. Let's see. One second. If you have a magician, you can destroy this card, and if you do. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna have to let him do that. Because I'm pretty sure if I destroy it, that won't. S oh no, it's an if you do. Okay, so I could have stopped that, but I, I really want to save this for when he gets a Pendulum McGrath. He activates that, and I can stop it. But yes, if you want the sleeves, the deck, the negation, you can donate one dollar or more to my Patreon. I run an ad-free channel, so that's the only way I get any support. So you can help support me, make sure that I can keep doing this, uh, hopefully doing it full-time, adding more content, um, and you get some stuff out of it. You get a lot of uh, cool art and some decks. Every, you get a new deck every week. I do... Um, announcements about what's what's coming up on the channel beforehand so you get a little preview i have a, a discord channel that you can discord server that you can only get into if you're a patron i do once a month patron only um deck build challenge tournaments so there's a lot going on there's a lot you get for just one dollar if you want to get like five dollars then you can get like a free i send out buttons every month that's kind of cool uh you can claim cards you can get shout outs uh, request an episode. I think that's like a $50 tier. Because those those take a lot of work and effort. Oh, great. And he lost connection. Well, I'm not going to count that one. But I did the shout-out. Or not the shout-out, but I did the, the Patreon spiel. So I'm going to keep it in there. I'm going to keep it in there. Now that it's done with, I can just focus on 100% dueling. All time. <laughs> Alrighty, here I am in the real fourth duel versus Tower. Could he be playing Cleef Horps? Cleehorp Tower? Oh, he let me go first. Unfortunately, I don't don't have much. I just have the Dianea, and again, there's nothing I can attack with, and I've got a lot of stuff to clear the field. So I'm just going to wait till next turn. I've got enough defense that I don't really need to put out a monster to take the hit for me. Ah, Dark Lords. Perfect for my Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare. Ah, interesting. Very interesting indeed. So then hopefully he's going to summon one out of the graveyard. What the hell? Discard two other special summon this card from your hand. Pay a thousand life points. Ah! No. Get out of here. Ah, but he could stop it from being destroyed. But his effect was still negated. So there's that. He lost a thousand life points. And I've got Hammer Shot. Got Hammer Shot, and I've got Ghost Ogre and Snow Ogre. And Rabbit Ogre and Ogre Ogre. I've got all sorts of things, man. But not a Trap Tricks. Um. Hammer Shot. Paying another thousand. Um, yep, that's fine. I'm just gonna add one, okay. Yep, and let's just do some damage while we can do some damage. Hitting them with the 1700. Yeah, for, this deck works a lot better if you can get the trap tricks that search things, because then you're getting more advantage for all the traps you're using every turn. But sadly, I'm getting my one recovery card when I have no cards to recover. Fortunately, this should help out quite a bit. Summons a monster with a whole bunch of attack, and I can just be like, nah. Negated. Stop that. Traps say no! Yep. <laughs> I feel so mean doing this, it's just like... He's like, aha, I summon this, and this will allow me to combo, and I'm like, no. Stop, you're not allowed to stew your combos. 
I've got trap holes. I'm just sitting on traps. Um, let's see. Ah, engraver of the mark. This will be a good thing. Yo, what's up? Is this is this enough? Is this game? No, this isn't game. If I had two 18s, it'd be 32. But it's close to game. It's certainly getting there. Um, and then 800 left. Um, hmm. I could summon this and just make sure he can't do anything, but then I wouldn't have enough attack to prevent him next turn. Ow, oh, what the hell. Let's try it. In defense mode. We can go into attack mode next time and get him for 300. Yo, what's up? You're not allowed to do stuff. I, I, I was going to say you're not allowed to attack. He's not allowed to attack either. That's why Trap Hole of Spikes is actually a great tech in this, because if they, like, special summon something that's bigger than this, I can then just activate Trap Hole of Spikes from the deck when they try to attack over it. Destroy them and do too much damage. Which I might actually do because it'll inflict half the amount of attack if I just let him summon and hope he doesn't make like a rank 8 that can like negate. Like if he makes Lancelot the ghost of the gross ghost of past or whatever. Um, what does he want to try to summon? Um, Nastin. That's a level 7. Yeah, I'll just... Okay. So I'll let him summon that and make sure that he can't make any sort of, like, rank plays. Okay, he discarded Texacock Clocklin. And then I'll just wait for him to attack and do Trap Hole of Spikes. Because no one expects the Trap Hole of Spikes. I don't think I've used one yet. Nope. Because it doesn't work like the other trap holes. 1300! Good game via trap hole of spikes. Well, that was an interesting duel. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, I won. But it's <laughs> it was interesting in that I prevented him from doing the things and it had a clutch ending that no one expected. Well, he didn't expect it. I guess you all expected it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's go into the fifth duel, shall we? Yes, let's shall. <laughs> Alrighty, fifth duel versus Atrex, which sounds a lot like Atrax, which is a, a, um, this, this girl. Trap Tricks Atrax. I think, I'm pretty sure it's a girl. People have been, been trying to tell me that the Trap Tricks are, are actually what, what some people would call traps, and that they are, are, uh, men dressed as women. And that the, the trap is actually like a double entendre. Um, hmm. I'll take this, because I've already got a trap hole, and I'm about to get another trap hole. You have to, yes, I know, in previous times, I've actually, like, I, I refer to the trap tricks as girls, and people, people in the comments shout at me. And then I refer to them as guys, and people in the comments shout at me. The wiki says they're females. And the tricks, the, the T-R-I-X, is sort of like the same end that you would get with, like, a dominatrix. So I assume that means they're females. But this is Japan, after all. So hard to say, hard to leg. Got reinforcements of the army. And then the Japanese name, I guess. I don't know. I don't know, man. Ah! Elemental heroes. Fortunately, I've got traps to deal with those. Good thing he doesn't have Stratos. That might be able to prevent me from doing things. Is going in the battle phase? Can you... Uh, uh, okay. That's neat. Oops. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of a big oops. That's, I'm pretty sure that's going to win me the game. Because, you know, hammer shot. Again, underrated. I'm so high right now. Whoa, man. This is why you shouldn't do drugs, kids. Hmm. 
You're going to end up losing to a duel against Trap Tricks. A deck from like six years ago. Granted, they got new support. Granted, also, I haven't seen any of that new support. So, you know. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and make that Trap Tricks boss monster, shall we? Utopia the Lightning. <laughs> I'm calling it. Utopia the Lightning is the Trap Tricks boss monster. I want to see someone someone with Photoshop skills, other than me. I've got some Photoshop skills. I mean, I made these in Photoshop. Yo, what's up? But someone someone get uh, this picture, the Trap Tricks Reflasia, but Photoshop Utopia the Lightning, like, lounging around with all of them. <laughs> Overtly, mildly sexualized Utopia the Lightning. For extra added awkwardness. And he's got Prisma, alright. I can't prevent him from doing such things. I'll just wait for him to act a po act, ugh, activate a polymolymerization, and then I'll go ahead and max C. For maximum C's! Ah, interesting. Grand Neos. Confirmed. Um. Yeah, why not? Your name can be Grand Mole while you're in the grave. Meanwhile, he's just floating here with all these materials. I like how I can disrupt them <laughs> by hovering over him. Um. Yay. Yay. Yeah, Trap Tricks Atrex mostly just here because she's got 1800 attack. Um, also effect unaffected by whole trap car. I mean, that's all the Trap Tricks are unaffected. Please. Um, let's see. The activation of an effects of normal trap cards on your side of the field cannot be negated. And also I can activate whole normal traps from my hand, which is pretty nice when you can get it off. Normally, though... I'm just setting them all immediately. It's only really come in, in usefulness once when I've, like, normal summoned. Um. Uh. Yeah, go ahead. I'll activate that later. No, because it's got more attack than I do, sadly. You win this round. But yeah, there's been times when I started with like this and like four trap holes and rather than set all four of them, I'll set like two of them and then like if they twin twister I can just activate the one from my hand. Space Panther. This card's name and effect because become that card's name and effect. Okay. I'm just gonna max C now. Will you take the challenge? I assume you special summon things. Yep, there's the Neo Space. Well, I mean, that's the thing. If he does special summon things, I get a card. If he doesn't special summon things, then I'm going to kill him next turn. Because I'll just attack over him with Utopia the Lightning and detach two and go up to 5,000. So go ahead, make your final move, Atrex. Atrex can't stand up to Atrex. Ah, 4,400. That's not as much as mine. As Necromanticer would say, mine is bigger. And he surrendered. That was a very strange duel against a very uh, high, high person. Man. Man person. Sounds like some sort of supervillain. A very lame supervillain. Behold the evil man person! Yeah, I'm just gonna go into the sixth duel. <laughs> uh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb sometimes. Most of the time. <laughs> Here we are, six duel versus a dragon. Not a dragon, more like a dragon. What's up? How's it going, homie? Let's go ahead and pot of duality. 
Going first. Hey. Uh, let's get that trap hole of spikes. Why not? And we'll get our Meyer Melio. Someone out there, let me search a trap hole. Preferably one not that is not of spikes. Maybe like uh, this one. This one's useful in the most situations. The other ones can have more more lasting effects, but this, without knowing what he's got, this is probably the most generically useful. Against like pendulum decks, then time space trap hole is good. Against link decks and other stuff, um, yeah, that's fine. If you want to attack with it, you're getting trap hold of spikes. If you want to summon something bigger, you're getting banished. Which is actually pretty good against ABC. Go ahead. Normal summon, punk. Make my day. Make him a day. Oh, he decided to make my day. No. You don't get to equip, and your monster's not in the graveyard. And did you not see the trap hole of spikes I set? Because I set a trap hole of spikes. It's a sad state of affairs, to be certain. Let's see here. Ah, recovery, my favorite. So, we'll normal summon this. I'll activate his effect. That Union Hanger's not gonna last for very long. Granted, I could I could Ghost Ogre it anyway. We'll just do a crap ton of damage because 1800 and 1600 is more than anything I could actually summon. And then, because I've got no trap holes, yeah, I need to stop him from doing things, so... Let's make a Rafflesia, shall we? Welcome to Rafflesia Town, population you! I guess I'm here too. I guess it's, and Rafflesia's here because it's Rafflesia. There's a lot of people here, alright, and there's probably people, well... Dark hole. Womp womp womp. Oh, hey, Engraver of the Mark says goodbye. Do, 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 do. All right, normally summon. Activate. Oh, I could summon Rafflesia. It'd be useless, but I could do it. Get there, destroy a spell trap, but there's not one left to destroy. Make Utopia the Lightning. I feel like I could make a, a flow chart for this deck. That, that would explain how it works. It's like, do you have traps? Set the traps. Do you have uh, a monster that searches? Summon that. No? Do you have Engraver of the Mark? Summon that. If all else fails, make Utopia the Lightning. Oh, hey. You don't take any damage, but you don't get that effect either. Because he prevents all effects from activating in a place. And if he gets his ABC somehow, I can just send it back into the extra deck. Granted, he'll be able to chain to it, he can banish my Utopia the Lightning, that's not gonna be fun. But hopefully I can prevent him from doing a lot of things. The advantage is still even, it's 4-4. Four to four. Um, Yeah, that's fine. I'll wait for him to extra deck summon something. Do 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 do. Let's see, which one is this? Uh, this card is sent. You can add one union from your deck to your hand. All right. So he's going to be able to do that either way. Oh, Sukiyukiomi. Ah, I see. Very nice. No. Go away. Not in Uganda. You could go eat the poo poo somewhere else. That's from if you've not seen the eat the poo poo video, it is both very sad and very uh, hilarious at the same time. It's one of those things that's just I, I don't know. It just it just sticks with you. 
It's difficult to forget. Just like so many other things in this world. Alright. One more turn like that and we're set. And even if he... Well, so here's the thing. Even if he gets his ABC or whatever, I can dark hole. I can hammer shot. I can get rid of all his stuff. I just have no recovery plays. I have no monsters. Alright. That looks weird when it's just sort of like hovering over him. I am trapped in the trap hole. Oh no. But it gave me 2,900. Um, so he's got an A and a... Okay. Getting a B, I see. I think he's assuming that if he puts B down, he's going to be able to search out A. What he doesn't understand is that Ghost Ogre says nay. What now, holy man? Ha ha ha! I have stalled out the ABC. It was as easy as one, two, three. As simple as do, re, mi. ABC. It's a song. Going into the seventh duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Seventh duel versus Sebi. A nice name. It sounds like an actual name. It's not taken from something as far as I can tell. Not like my names. Although my actual name, the hard leg, your opponent did AFK, so you can leave the game without being punished. Sebi no operation too long. Alright, well I'm not fighting Sebi then. I'm fighting against someone else. <laughs> Alright, Yug, here we are in the seventh duel versus Mr. Boobs. Quite quite the interesting name, I tell you what. It's spelled like that, so it's Mr. It's got that that kind of a uh, that kind of accent. Um Mmm, yeah. Once again, why, why, starting with all my Dianeas, um, but I can summon Dianea with Dianea, so I'm going to put one out there. If it gets destroyed, next turn I can make a rank 4 play. Maybe he'll special summon a bunch, and I'll be able to take the Max C challenge. Oh, hey. Perfect. Give me those cards. Oh, it's another, it's another, uh, ABC deck. Transmodify. Going to a level 5. Ah, Galaxy Soldier. Um, nope. He's got to summon at least another level 5. If he's going for, uh, ooh, mmm. Oh, delicious. All this, all this stuff. Lynx? Oh, I thank you. If I do say so myself. But yeah, he's got to make another, he's got to summon another galaxy soldier. He's got to do all these things. Mm, ah, delicious. Just absolutely. Mm. No, I'm going to wait for him to Ixie. I want, I want more cards, please. Please, give me all the cards. I need them. I want them in my life. Um, let's see. At this point, he's just got the 2,000, and I've got a million ways to... Um... Nah, I'm good. We'll see. Can he make ABC? He can. And that's the one I want to negate. No. Your effects are negated. But he's going to banish my monster, all right. Ouch. But he gave me a ridiculous amount of cards, and he used almost all his monsters in the process. The only sad thing is that I have nothing to get over Galaxy Soldier. At least not at the moment. But he's not going to be able to summon anything. Okay, there we go. Thanks for all the cards! get wrecked. And I might as well do this. Um, yeah, <laughs> surrendered. I would have surrendered too. You can't take the Max C challenge like that. 
Not against someone who's playing so many hand traps. I could just, ooh, mm, I could blow stuff up. I would have had battle protection. I would have had summon protection. I would have been able to blow stuff up. Even more, more searches, more searches. I finally got, I finally got Mantis. It's, it's, uh, it's called Mantis in the TCG, even though this says crook that. But, uh, yeah, we'll go into the eighth duel. Yo, what's up, guys? Hardleg Joe here. While I'm waiting for, for someone to come in, I figure I might as well do my Patreon shout-out now while there's no duels going on. Uh, mostly because today's Patreon shout-out is kind of special. Oh, hey. AM. Um, and instead of getting a shout-out for a person, uh, the, the, to, the, the person who got the shout-out wanted me to give it to a Twitch streamer that they like. Uh, it's twitch.tv slash pitchy. I should have it on there. I think it's pitchy. It might be Paichi. Hard to tell. And he is a speedrunner, mostly known for his uh, Donkey Kong 1, 2, 3 playthroughs. And uh, the, the, the patron says he's generally a chill guy. And I've been streaming myself lately, and I know how, how uh, popular chill guys can be. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, if you're, if you're interested at all in speedrunning or finding a chill streamer, go ahead and check that guy out. Let him know that I sent you if you do happen to go. Should be a fun time. And of course, we're going first. We've got two traps. I've searched out this, which will give me even more traps. And we finally got our Mantis. So Mantis will search any Trap Tricks monster. And it has this cool effect where during either player's turn, you can send set... Um... Um, let's see. Hmm. I think I want to... Yeah, well, Max C. Oh, I can do both? All right. So yeah, you're banished, so they're not going to be able to summon it. He still gets the summon, so I still get a draw. It all works out. But yeah, this is a um, quick effect. You can target one set spell trap you control and return it to the hand. Then you can set one spell trap from your hand. So if they try to twin twister your things... Oh, uh, whoops, this was the wrong one. I got this, I thought this was the one that let him search from his hand. It's been a while since I've played against the Teller Knights. Good old Deneb. Deneb in his way into the future. But yeah, that's, it's pretty good, because if you twin Twister, you could just sort of, like, take it back and then draw another one. Um, okay. I don't want to shuffle that into the deck. Ah, double summon. So I'll get draws after all. The Maxi challenge wasn't a waste. Not a thousand. Ouch, my life points. I needed those to exist. Now go ahead, Nixie Summon, please. I would appreciate if you... Ex well, he has to. Because this can't attack if there's another monster on the field, and this doesn't have enough attack to get over that. So he pretty much has to Ixie Summon, which will give me another draw, and I'm just going to negate it. And then I'll get another trap hole, I'll be able to attack for a bunch. Maybe make a, may, maybe make a, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the trap tricks, the actual trap tricks boss monster. The one that can activate trap tricks from the deck. No. So here we are, you've got four cards. I'm going to have six cards. It's an uphill battle that you're facing. Let's just hope he doesn't play a whole bunch of, like, mirror forces and stuff. Most likely it's stuff that summons from the graveyard. So, let's go ahead and normal salmon. Activert. Give me more trap holes, please. Yes, mmm. Ah, if I could get those, uh, trap holes, that would be, mm, nice. Please. You gonna you gonna stop that? He can change something. Don't know what it is, but he can do it. Question is, does he want to summon out the twenty one hundred, or does he want to summon out the thing that can uh, burn me for a little bit? I think he wants to summon out the thing that can burn me for a little bit because it has more defense too. Higher defense than I have. Um. Void trap hole. Time to avoid the void. Get out of here! Coming into my dojo with that shit. 
that won't negate the the burn damage of course but uh but at least that won't be there and then I can attack for almost 3000 which I need to do because he's burning me at an alarming rate I've been considering going back to Satellar Night Burn, but haven't quite yet. Got another one? Nope. Not yet, at least. Waiting. Processing. Oasis of Dragon Souls. Uh, nope, I don't want to. I only use it once per turn, though. Alright, so, because I have my Void Trap Hole, and because he's got a bunch of spell traps, I think the better move is to actually go into Tornado Dragon. Yo, what's up? Detach. Destroy your Oasis of Dragon Souls. I should have known. So, Teller Knight Nova. Tribute, negate, to draw a card. I've still got the advantage on him, but not by as much as I would like. I've been trapped in my own trap hole. There we go. So he will have three monsters, I will have uh, one trap. And a hand trap that I've still never used, actually. Stop burning me. I don't like that very much. Well, will he Ixie summon right into the void trap hole? Or will he avoid the void by just attacking for 1700? That is what I would do. Nope. He is not going to avoid the void. Get out of here. Does that have some effect when it's destroyed? Um. Nope. Just gone. Gone forever. Melting into the abyss, alright. Oh, hey. More voids. Um. At this point, I really need to get some damage on board. Let's go ahead and engrave some marks, shall we? Plus, it's got more attack, so if he gets something like an Altair and he just wants to attack, I can stop that. I could stop his boss monsters from being summoned yet again. Granted, at this point, I have so little life that the chance of the the the, the chance of being like OTK'd by something is still pretty high. If he like MST or Cosmic Cyclones this, and then summons like a big boss monster and removes this, and then attacks me for four thousand, I don't think he can summon four thousands worth. Not with three cards. Especially since one of those has to get rid of this if he's going to have a chance of having that monster survive. You know, in explaining this and sort of like, okay, I'm planning out the... It sounds more complicated than it is, but really, like, you would get the same stuff by just set a card, hope everything works. Oh, hey, it's Yukalakalakala. He can send one Satellar Knight to his graveyard. He is going to pick Deneb. Ah, just crashing, eh? All right. I have no reason to use his effect. That's going to be dead anyway. Just simplifying the game state. Go, Mantis! Give me one of these. That way I can, I can recover some plays. 1,500... And if you thought the traps were over, you were wrong. And now he's going to summon a monster and he think he's safe because he's like, you know, it's, it's, it's traps. It's trap holes. They're only good when they summon and they forget that there's a trap hole battle trap. Um. Oh, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I? 47. I've got 15. If I can do... 32? No, I can't do 32. Not quite. Sure, why not? Um, let's see here. 
What would be best against him? I've got two trap holes already. Yeah, I'm just going to go for Utopia the Lightning. With real lightning, guys. Unofficial boss monster of the Trap Tricks. He hangs out with them. They don't try to kill him. They don't try to trap him in their deadly traps. They're just like, nah, Utopia the Lightning, you're cool. Just make sure you bring your friends Utopia Prime and regular Utopia. But keep them in the back. They're not allowed to talk or anything. You can just have your posse there. They're just all chilling out. And a big old hot tub party. It's really awkward because Utopia is like a giant. I think he's a giant. And they're like tiny. They're like insect sized. Because most of them are insects or plants. Or insect plants. Now will he walk into a trap hole of spikes? I think I've got him at this point. Yeah, this is just an advantage deck. Which is what you call a deck where it's, um... You know, you, you, you activate thing or you, you get rid of your opponent's ability to do things. You run out their resources. Uh, no, I don't want a chain. I don't need the chain. Chains don't know shit about me, alright? And so now he has something... What we'll do in draw phase. Ah, draw phase surrender. Very, a very tactical move, if ever there was one. Let's go ahead into the ninth duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are, the ninth duel versus Khan Killer. I assume he killed Khan, or his name is Khan and he is a killer. Hard to say, hard to leg. Going second, which is never fine, but at this point I've won six in a row? So I, I'm fine with this. I feel like I've showed what the deck can do. It did my my worst nightmare didn't come true. I didn't end up losing all of them. Even if I lose the rest of them, I'm still confident in the fact that I at least showed what 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 this deck can do. Oh hey, Cybers. I don't know how these guys work still. Um, special summon it. This is sent to the graveyard. You get a token. If you control Cybers, you can special summon it. If all monsters you control are cybers, you could special summon it. Um, when it's normal summoned, you could target one monster and it becomes cybers type. Alright. I've been considering making a cybers deck just because it's, it's interesting to see how they work, but really all they... I mean, they there are a lot of link monsters that I haven't really looked at because when I scroll through them, it's like they require two cybers monsters. So I'm just like, it's not really worth going into. And like with any, I mean, they're the they're they're going to be the performer pals of this generation. Although they're an entirely new type instead of just having like a, an archetype. And part of the reason why I like Hammer Shot so much is because it gets around Deco Talker just completely. Just like, nope, not targeting destruction. Yo, what's up? That's the thing, you spend one card to get rid of one card, but that one card took him three cards to make. So, even though it's like in the moment... I know there's a word for that in card advantage. It's sort of like the technical card advantage is, is zero, because it's one for one. But because he spent three cards to get it, it's like he lost three cards to the one card. So the, the actual accumulative card advantage is uh, plus two. Oh, wait, no, he's got four cards, yeah, four cards in the graveyard to mine, so that's plus three, actually. Um, if this is normal summoned, you could special summon a level two or lower normal monster from your hand or deck in defense position. Um, apparently he doesn't have one in his deck, because he did not do that. He's got two level threes, he can make a rank three. Maybe go for some Ixie plays? People wouldn't be expecting the Ixie plays. If he did, he would have he would add another deco talker, which would get destroyed by this because again it's non-targeting. I thought I had link two monsters. Sadness. Links are complex. Um Let's go with Mantis. An army of Mantis men. Women. Men, women. Children? No. Well, maybe. I don't know, they look pretty young. But again, they could just be petite. Hard to say. 
It's one of those things I'd almost just rather not think about. Let's go ahead and scoodly boop over there. My monsters have higher attack. Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh! 101. Got good old dust coming out of there. Dusty spikes. So, oh, alright. Well, I think at that point, then, there's not much else he can do. Because, again, he's got three cards, and I've got so many negations. This is really good against Link decks, because it's just anything they summon out of the extra deck is just going to get sent back. So there's 18, there's 15, there's 16. And yeah, I could Pot of Duality again. I probably will. Just because I want to have Ixie summon, in case he like Raigekis. This, this deck can't really do anything against Raigeki, but at the same time, Raigeki doesn't really affect it all that much because you don't invest anything into your monsters. Um, Hand traps. Get all the things. Yeah, how many... Oh, it's possible that they're glitched. Maybe that's how it worked. Because he's only got the 11 monsters in his extra deck. Sometimes it's Lately it's been doing this thing where um, the monsters just aren't showing up when you actually go into the game. So it's possible he did put them in his deck and they're just not here. But that's why you gotta test against the AI first. Uh, anyway, we're going to the 10th duel. See if we can get a, a full 8, eight, eight, eight duel win streak. That'd be neat. <laughs> and we're running to the Cyber Jar. He's not at a bar. Cyber Jar is where he's at. He is the Cyber Jar. Part of duality. Gonna keep singing all day long. Ooh, ah, mm, eh, mm. I've got one. Let's take a hand trap. Let's go ahead and summon Cockatus. Oh, wait. Hmm. All right. He's got no extra deck. And his name is Cyberjar, so he might be playing stuff that trap holes aren't going to help against. So let's take that, actually, because rank fours are helpful in pretty much every situation. And this is helpful in most situations. I've managed to beat chain burns and stuff because of this. Also, fuck chain burn. It's not it's not a fun deck for anyone. Um okay. Rygek, got it. He's gecking my rise. I'm not liking it, but that's fine. Oh, it is monarchs. Okay, so the trap holes would have would have been good. <laughs> Luckily, I have the Rygek myself. As well as the Hammer Shot. Yeah, I don't, I don't special summon, nerd. Well, I guess I do special summon. Why not attack? You don't feel like attacking? Hammer Shot. Get out of here. Smack down with a hammer. Now I can special summon. If only this got its effect when it was summoned by any means, then this would be a really good deck. Not amazing, but it would be much better than it is. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's just go for real lightning. Because he can't destroy it with an effect, because I'll do that. And this way he won't be able to get over with attack. He already used his Raigeki. For some reason. I mean, he could have done that just as well with, with that there. And then attacked and gotten some damage. I guess he just doesn't know how things work. Or maybe he's afraid of the mirror force. You can't be unreasonably afraid in this game. I've seen so many newer players who are just so afraid of, like, attacking into a mirror force that they just don't do anything for turns at a time until it's absolutely safe. 
And by then, your opponent's just building up resources. Like, if you've got two monsters, it never hurts to turn the weaker of the two into defense mode, just in case there's a mirror force. Especially if you have reason to believe that there's going to be a mirror force. But if you've just got one monster and you've still got other resources in your hand, go for the gold, man. Granted, I guess this is a kind of deck where it's protect the castle. You make Vanity's Fiend and then you hope they can't stop it. He's playing the same kind of thing that I am, where it's just prevent your opponent from getting anything on the field in the first place. The problem is now I have the field established. So the amount of things he can do with that are very limited. I mean, he still has four cards. But if he summons something with 2,000 or more, gonna be a problem. And of course, the greatest thing about Utopia the Lightning, beyond the fact that he just goes up to, to 5,000 attack when he attacks a monster, is specifically that I don't have to worry about Mirror Forces. Your opponent cannot activate things when he attacks. He can attack directly and no one, no one can do anything about it. Steamroller effect, that's what I call it. Some people call it Armades effect. Some people would claim it's an Ancient Gear effect, although Ancient Gears only work with spell traps. They don't stop all effects from activating, so it's a very different thing. Armades, as far as I know, is the first card that was like, your opponent can't activate anything. Flip effects, monster float effects, spells, traps, anything. But Armades has been power crept to the point that it's nigh useless, especially since a lot of cards now have its effect. Dark Lord, send one Dark Lord, take control of a face-up until the end. Alright, well. That's a pity. Now I'm staring down the barrel of a 45, swimming through the ashes of another life. There's no real reason to expect the way that things have changed, staring down the barrel of a 45, or I guess an S39. He's like, well, how do you like it? Now you're getting lightninged with real lightning. Okay, they have to be special summoned, sadly. And he's going to attack for 800, too. I guess you want to get all that damage you can. And then probably main phase 2 tribute, because I believe this gives you another normal summon. Interesting. Using the Monarchs to Tribute Summon the Dark Lords. Sadly, though, this I just realized these are all special summons. Alright. Yo, what's up, Regeki time? Let's just hope he doesn't have, like, my body as a shield or something. Nope. Howdy! I'm a mantis! I got mantis hands! Um. Alright. So, I really want this because I really want my bottomless trap hole because that is the one that'll be useful in this situation. Granted, he's down to two cards, so... Not gonna be in the best, the best of, of times. The first monarch, alright, that has more defense than I can handle. But it also has less attack than I can, than he can handle. But he's got something to tribute, alright. Let's just hope he doesn't get something he can tribute. Because otherwise, I might be in for a spot of bother. Oh, will you look at that? Um. No. Not gonna allow that. You just get trap hold. Get trapped in a hole where you can't do anything. Nope. Alright. So, let's go ahead and do this. This will be really useful, too. But I want bottomless. No, I don't want to negate my own effect. What kind of buffoon do you take me for? 
a foolish one. Um, need something with over. I think Utopia is the only thing I have with over 2,500 attack. Damn. Um, I could, yeah, I could send it back into the deck. Seems like kind of a waste, but I don't have any other options, really. Yep. We'll castell it. Yo, what's up? I'm a musketeer. Go away. No one likes you first, monarch. You are not the first in my heart, even if you may have been the first, uh, technically. Not even the first monarch card. That was, like, way later. I believe the first monarchs were, um... The striking, no, the, I'm not, not the striking thunder. Uh, Zaborg, the thunder monarch, and Mobius, the frost monarch. Who destroyed spell traps and monsters, respectively. Now, I've got all the traps. This is a great Castell deck, guys. If you wanted to make Castell and use his effect and then attack, well, you've got your chance. One day of peace. Um, no. There will be no peace this day. Only death for you, Cyberjar. Castell will end you with his giant musketeer musket. What? What? No. It can't be. I said no! Your effects are negated, and you go back into the graveyard. Now stop trying to do things and just die! <laughs> See, why isn't there a system thing for, like, Castell, attack directly, show them the meaning of hurt? I'm pretty sure they said that in the anime. That was Yu-Gi-Oh! Five, five Zexels? D's? X? So, I don't know. Have I mentioned that I'm dumb? I think I mentioned that earlier. Let's go into the end screen, shall we? <laughs> so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. After a rocky start, hand trap tricks ended up going 8 and 2, which is much better than I expected going into this. Uh, hopefully Robert Roosing should be proud with how his Patreon request turned out. And hopefully you enjoyed watching this. Uh, like I said, I, I don't think this is the best deck. You really kind of, you have to go first, you have to get the good hand that's a mix of hand traps, monsters, and regular traps. And if you do, you can really shut down your opponent. If not, then you're really kind of out of luck. But if you want an interesting rogue deck that's sort of borderline troll deck, you can't go wrong with, with the hand trap tricks. Although it's probably a bit expensive to play in real life with such a, some of these. But, but I digress. Uh, next week, I think I'm going to be looking at a Mako deck, because uh, God has ordained it. If you, if you haven't seen my, my Tony Hawk video I put there, it's it just one of those things that happened. Ch check it out. Uh, I'll probably have a link in the description. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to make a Mako deck. If that doesn't work, then maybe I'll look at, uh, I don't know, crawlers or something like that. One of these newer archetypes. Uh, until then, good luck and have fun.